All right, that's awesome. Hello everyone and welcome back. Dom here with another video and today it's going to be really special because I just received this guy in the mail. So this is the Jammy super portable digital guitar with real steel strings. And full disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. The guys at Jammy got in touch with me and they said, hey, we've watched your videos. We know you're a keyboard player, but you also play the guitar. So I really appreciated that. And they said, maybe you wanna check out Jammy and see what you think. They haven't paid me to say anything good or bad. I haven't even unboxed this yet. This is still in the plastic wrap. So it's going to be completely a new experience for me and I'm going to share it with you. Now, why was this thing um, really interesting for me? I'm a keyboard player first and foremost. I know how to play the piano, but I'm also a self-taught guitarist. I have quite a few guitars actually, which is a sad story. But anyway, um, so when I checked out the website, it said that it, this can be used as a MIDI controller. It has adjustable tension with steel strings. So I thought, oh, that might be a very good expression device to use with my synths, maybe with my montage, maybe with my software synths in Cubase. Let's check it out. First, we have to unbox it. And to unbox it, we need a proper unboxing knife. Let's do it. One thing you must know about me, guys, is that I love unboxing things. This is one of the best parts of experiencing a new product for me. So I love doing this like that. Okay, the unboxing experience is incredible. All right. Ooh. Ow, I see how this works. So it's in two parts. Probably this is where you define the pitch and this is where you do the actual note on and note off events. Hmm, I think that's how it works. I'm not sure yet because I haven't tried it, but I think this, wow. Build quality, first impressions, beautiful. Ooh, nice. Rock and roll, lock and roll. Strap. That's always useful. USB-C cable. I don't know what that is. I guess that must be the carrying pouch. I'll just open it for you guys so you can see what's in the box. Yeah, oh, okay, it's, it's pouches for every piece of this puzzle. Guys, picks. Nice. So now I'm going to try and uh, assemble this. So, lock and roll. So this looks like it's ready. Let's see what it can do. Right, so I'm going to check now how this works. Now, from what I see, it's uh, it's very interesting. There are quite a few things that you can do right here. There's a quarter inch jack that actually works when you plug this into an amp or if you plug it into an audio interface, which means that this can actually produce sounds. I didn't know that. So that's great. It works standalone. That's pretty cool. But now the real test, and that's what I care about the most. Can it actually control my synths? So the first thing I'm going to do is the ultimate test. I'm going to connect this straight to my montage using the USB cable. So straight into the USB input of the montage and see if this can work as an external controller for the montage. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we're going to discover it together, guys. Let's do it. Right, moment of truth. I'm going to grab the cable, turn the jammy on and connect it to my montage. And let's see if this will work. It says connecting to USB device. That's pretty cool. So let's see. All right, <laughs> it, it works. It works. So I've selected the six string finger guitar. That's pretty cool. Let's try the finger 12 string. Okay, let's try some roads.
Uh, let's try some strings. I like the slides! You know what? Let's try one of my sounds. I'm gonna go for the... Let's go for the polysynth. I like this thing, that's pretty cool! So this is great news, it worked with the Yamaha montage, this is amazing, but now what I'm doing is I'm launching Cubase, I'm going to just uh, open an empty project here. And what I'm going to do is I want to test this with virtual instruments, so maybe a virtual guitar library or some synths. And also I want to see if I can control other synths that don't have this capability that the montage has that you can plug in an external USB MIDI controller and it just works. Um, for example, I want to try it with my Sub 37 or with my OB6 and see if I can actually control these guys with this. But for this, we're going to, of course, need some help from Cubase so we can route the MIDI to these different instruments and control them, hopefully, using the Jammy. So let's do this. So in order to test this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this USB cable and plug it straight into my PC. And I mean, I haven't installed any drivers. I'm going to have to see if that works straight away. So I'm going to plug it into this port right here. And let's see if Cubase detects it. Let's see, and and it does. I mean, that's cool. So I'm pleasantly surprised because this actually worked straight away. And without installing any drivers, which is not always the case when you work with Windows computers. So this is pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to test it first with the new guitar library that came out. This is the T guitar uh, from Steinberg and Acoustic Samples. And it's a brilliant library, I really love it. I also like to play it on the keyboard as well. But I wanna see what kind of sounds and what kind of performance I can get out of this using the Jammy. Because this is great if you wanna do strums. And I think this is one of the main reasons why I would use it to create realistic strums. So let's try out. darn good that's pretty cool you know if you want to do these strummings uh, with guitar libraries it's actually really really hard to do and I mean T guitar is an exception because it has quite a few cool things that you can do in order to create really realistic strummings really really fast but most of the times with most guitar libraries that I know of apart from montage of course that has also the arpeggios inside it's really hard to create strummings if you're a keyboard player. So this is actually a very cool thing if you know how to play 
chords, like simple chords on a guitar, this will give you a very realistic strumming experience. So I would find this very useful if I was to create a mock-up for like a TV advert, let's say, or something that I need to deliver very quickly and it would be too much time to set up microphones to record like a real guitar. Well, that's actually pretty nice. I can hear some notes here and there that are not exactly what I play. Sometimes it kind of adds some random notes where there shouldn't be there, but to be honest with you, if you can get an arrangement like that down so quickly, it's very easy to remove those notes. And I'm sure that, you know, if you tweak it inside the app and so you can change the sensitivity of the strings, you can get it even closer to your playing style. I think the app is really important for these things. And I think you have to do a little bit of tweaking to get the ultimate experience, especially if you are a guitar player. Ah. That's pretty cool. Now I'm going to play one of my favorite new synths. This is simple, it's a synth for Halion Sonic and Halion, and it sounds amazing. Let's see what we can do with the jammy. Why not load an orchestra? Come on. Let's go, I'm gonna go with Iconica very quickly. Let's see. All right, that's awesome. Now I want to see how easy it is to control my hardware synths, like the Sub 37 right here, and let's do this right now. So what I'm gonna do is I have created a MIDI track here in Cubase, and what I've done is I've uh, sent this, I'm sending this to the Moog Sub 37 out. So the Moog receives MIDI, and of course the Jammy is my MIDI input. So let's say you're a guitarist and you have a beautiful analog synth or you have a monster like the montage and you want to just basically play uh, very easily. Maybe you want to play some more complicated stuff that you feel more comfortable playing on a guitar instrument rather than the keys. I think the jammy would be a great option for you for this. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I would choose keys every day because I'm a keyboard player, but um, I can understand that many people have synths and they're guitarists, you know, and they have lots of synths, they're like synth enthusiasts, they create music, they're producers. So this could actually be a gateway for creating easier parts. So that's my first impressions about the Jammy. This, uh, you know, I would say really cool MIDI guitar. If you ask me, that's um, the way I would use it. And um, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. As I said, this is not a sponsored video, so the guys from Jammy didn't tell me that you have to say this or that. So I have complete freedom to say whatever I want. And my honest opinion is this. Uh, this is a great MIDI guitar instrument. I think what makes a difference in this instrument is that it has the note on, note off events. That's how it works in there. I was right. And the pitch information separated. And that helps for two reasons. Why? Because you have a cleaner MIDI output, which is most of the times the problem with MIDI guitars is that the, the output is very, very dirty. You get all sorts of crazy notes, all sorts of random events, lots of pitch bends. It's really, really weird. But with this one, you have very clean output and also you can travel with it very easily. So if you're a guitarist and you want to control your MIDI synths, it's very easy to travel. It has the pouches and everything so you can travel with it. If you're a keyboard player, I think this would be very useful if you know how to play a little bit of guitar. And the thing that it excels at is strumming. You know, if you do strumming and you want to create realistic strumming patterns, that's great for this. Um, I don't think it's so great for soloing. So if you are going to solo and you're a keyboard player, probably just solo on the keys. It's going to give you a more satisfying feel. 
This is good if you're solo, but it needs quite a bit of uh, configuration in the app so that you make sure that for whatever style you're playing, you have to adjust the settings a little bit. I'm pretty sure that uh, the guys at Jami are going to address this with the firmware updates because I know there have been some already that address quite a few issues and the hardware is really good. It feels really solid. Some problems that I found was that sometimes it was triggering notes where it wasn't supposed to and sometimes it wouldn't trigger a note and, and the sensitivity is tricky to kind of get it right. I mean, if you're a very heavy player and you're playing really hard on the strings, you know, you have to adjust it. If you're playing softly like I do, I play very dynamically, so I might play really softly to play really piano and pianissimo passages. But if I want to really crank it up, I just hit hard. And one thing that I would like to see was to have even more dynamic range when you're playing with the strings and with the MIDI so that you get the entire range of zero to 127. And who knows, maybe with MIDI too now, you can expand this even more. And one thing I was really happy about was that I could basically connect it to my montage, I could connect it to my PC, I was worried about that, and it just played. It was pretty much plug and play, which was not what I expected, to be honest. I thought that I would need to configure many things and do all sorts of things to make it work. Now, if you wanna go for it, Jammy were cool enough to give me a discount code for you guys. So if you wanna go and get one of these, I'm gonna have a link in the description down below so you can go and check it out and get it. And this way you also support the channel. So thank you so much in advance if you use the links below. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and share this video with a guitarist friend that wants to control his or her synths. So until next time, signing off, bye-bye.